And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. The hardest working man in the tennis business. We have Victoria Azarenka, guys. World's former number one. Two-time, two-time hard champion at the Australian Open. She's solid, guys. But it's a long way from those 30-win seasons we saw, or even the 60- and 70-win seasons, the 40-win seasons that Azarenka used to have. The world's ranked number 18, taking on Fiona Farrell, the world's ranked 190th. F Fiona finds herself in here, guys. And listen, she had a great one at Barincula. That's right. She took out Schmidlova, Carolina Ann, in three sets. Uh, look, I covered the match. I told you Carolina just ran out of gas in the third set. Fiona Farrell was hitting heat, seeking missiles by her straight bombs or rockets. And she would lose in the championship to Tatiana Maria in what was a blowout. But look, Fiona finds herself here winning six of her last ten matches. Her confidence has to be good right now. She's a good shot maker, a much better clay player, in my opinion. I mean, more than half of her wins come on the clay surface. She's not an experienced hard player, but 42 and 15 on the season. She's having a pretty darn good season. We all know Victoria Azarenka loves hard, hard champion, more than half of her wins on hard. But she's kind of struggled lately. Even though she's won five of her last ten matches, we've seen losses to Donna Vekic, Sloan Stevens, Elena Svitolina. Twice, that is, right? Has the tide finally changed in that matchup? This is a matchup here where, look, Victoria's going to have to use her amazing mid-range game, mix in the drop shots, keep Fiona second-guessing, because Fiona's, in my opinion, at this age of her career, Vika, that is, Fiona's a much more athletic player. Get your popcorn. The U.S. Open's here.